Hi, Bruce from Safari. We're in front of this beautiful Ram 2500 and the GCI canopy on the back, uh, all beautifully built, but the customer didn't like the power system that was in here. Uh, several problems, the batteries wouldn't hold up both fridge or the battery wouldn't hold up both fridge for long enough. And his wife could not reach the switches in these uh, old uh, lights that you've got up here. And he had to walk around to the driver's side every time he wanted to do the switching and he could not do it from the passenger side. So let's just walk around to where the uh, fridge and all the cooking is. And uh, so what we've installed in here as an upgrade is we've got our star touch eight panel switch here. It's on the side that we're on now, passenger white, we can turn on and just look at the change, the improvement in that light now. It's not in your eyes, it's on the edge, it's on the inside at night time, it just lights it up beautifully. And we also have passenger amber that comes on. And you can see that we've got that on this side, it's also mirrored on the other side. So it's got complete two-way switching. Uh, we've added the Starlink in here. Uh, we've changed the battery system out to a media. That's the on-off switch for the batteries. So you just push that battery switch in. I'm gonna show that on a separate video. For three seconds, it turns the batteries off, turns them on. You can't see the batteries in here, you can't get to it. So you absolutely need that plus the display, which I'm gonna show. And if we walk around to the other side now, We've totally transformed the box that was there, all the switch gear that was in there it was really old. Uh, I call it Second World War stuff, big clunky stuff. I'll show that in the top of the video. And what we've put in, you can see at the top there, is a starlight. That single starlight there is enough to do uh, 10 uh, switch outputs. And it's driving all of these outputs that you see here. One of the unique things in the starlight is we've got a center white light that you can see there but we also have a center color light. And yes, I've set that in what I call uh, romance pink <laughs> that we have in there. And I'm gonna show you at nighttime how we can change, you can change that color, any, any color of the rainbow. It could be in the doors. It doesn't have to be in the center, but for this particular um, gentleman from Dubbo, we decided that we would just put the color strip down the center. We've also got these outside lights, steady lights up here. They're also controlled from here. Um, we've got here a rear driver, and we've also got rear passenger lights that we can turn on and off. And then the last feature that is really what sets uh, Starship, there's the rear apart, is that the switching system is on Bluetooth. So not only do we have it here, but not on your phone, but a regular switch block like you see here. When I press this, then the amber light's coming on. I press that off, I turn that on again, I'm getting the white, and I can even turn this one up here off. Now, to while he's driving the car, he's going to be inside the vehicle, and so we've got a third way of switching all the lights, which is on this display down here. You can see it's set there now for the rear driver side light at 100%. We can dim the lights down there, but most importantly, we can see the whole battery system. So if I swipe on this switch through, uh, that's the actual uh, voltage, that's the alternator in there at the moment, that's Scotty, and then finally, that's uh, Scotty again. And now we can see what the battery is. So you can see here, the battery is, the state of charge is 32%, 52 volts, and uh, that's the battery temperature up there. So we've got, this device down here will do everything on our system. It'll do the battery, it'll do Scotty, it'll do the lights, and in future, it'll also do the tank. So we've got uh, three ways of switching. We've got the one in the cab, which will also change color. We've got the CAN base. This is just a four pin connector on the back here, uh, switches that are custom engraved. And we've also got the Bluetooth switches. Now, the Bluetooth switches are probably not applicable in the vehicle, but if you've got a van behind and we've got that switching in the van, then this will be able to be fitted into the vehicle and you'll be able to control the van lights from the vehicle over quite some distance. So we've tested this and this will comfortably run at 20, 25 meters. Now powering the system in here, as you can see, is there's a Scotty on the backboard there. And we've got uh, just a 3000 inverter in here 
and that Scotty is powering the two media batteries in here and the four that are in the caravans. So he's got a total of 1200 amp hours at a 12 volt equivalent with a third of that in the vehicle and two thirds in the van and that will allow him to run his air con, run everything and then the following day this will replenish the batteries. We've got a 400 watt panel on the top, it's pretty dim here at the moment but I'll go into the solar panel, look at the daily history. Uh, we've got 464 watts out of the panel today. A standard feature that we have in all our uh, jobs is this modem up here, which means the system is always on. It's connected into the Starlink on the other side. You can see this connector up here. So that means on the Starlink, he can uh, come in, see his old system, see the alarms, and in future, uh, will be able to turn his uh, lights on and off. Uh, that will be the next update that we do on the Starlink. So you'll be able to see the condition of them all and be able to operate any of the lights in the Starship system uh, through the internet, through your Starlink, including seeing any camera in here uh, through it as well, any video. That's the next item that we're adding as well. I've got to say, how good's that?